What is going on? Once again, it is your host, Arachnid Soul, coming to you today with a little bit of Fire Pro. We're going to be playing today on 8 difficulty. And a lot of people send matches, they're not even comfortable playing on one. We're going to play on 8, and I'm going to talk you through some of the basics. I'm using a created wrestler that I've made. And we're really going to break this down. Controls are on the screen. Let's get at it. Start out with the small moves. Deep arm drag into an arm bar. Matches that make sense in real life are the good matches, and matches that make sense in Fire Pro are the matches that you've got a chance at winning. Rotate the D-pad, hold the face buttons. One of the hardest things to do in this game, but the second you learn it, it'll become one of the easiest. Hanging Jujigatami on his part, nicely done. What I'm going to look for with this wrestler that I'm using is the Fujiwar armbar or the Fisherman suplex. These are the two things I've been using to win matches. Also, key, you want to stay in the center of the ring. We're going to give you not only tips on playing this game, but just tips on generally playing any pro wrestling game or competing in pro wrestling in real life. Deep arm drag. Arm bar once again, boys and girls. I can hold X to stay down, roll away. It's a good way to play possum if people are coming off the top rope. But again, we're not doing anything fancy, and we see him going for stuff, and we're just going to slow it down. Center the ring. Roll away. Don't crowd people. So if I scooped him and slammed him, I'm not going to stand here. I'm going to back off. I'm going to let him get up. Because when he grapples me, I want to be able to figure out what I'm doing, my ring positioning. If he strikes, I'm going to strike. Drop toe hold. And we start working the leg. Generally speaking, what I want to work is the arm. But... But I'll take a leg home, and you stay here with the rope break. And again, if I'm too close to the rope and he tries to slam me or suplex me, I'll fall out. Some Oh, nice! Got me with my move. I went for a lariat early and got caught. Send him off. Center ring. Nope, was looking for that center ring arm bar. Couldn't get it that time. Everything I'm doing is with square. I've not started doing any bigger moves yet. I'd love to drop a knee across his arm here. Could not. He's not tired enough. And now we moved up. Now we've moved up to X, which are the medium grapples. He comes away. And I could probably get him again with that. Nope, he wants me in the corner, which means I don't want to be in the corner. Get a little fancy here. Nope, too early. And you can always come back to this stuff. You can always come back to the basics. If something is not working, you go back to the smaller moves. European uppercut wasn't ready yet. Single leg. Roll back to center. Hook the ropes, took him down that time. It was a little sloppy, to be honest with you. I'm going to show you what I should have done there. It should be quick, and then right into the pin. I shouldn't have to step around. I should have some awareness of the different holds and what my guy's doing. Still too early to go for that. But I will take him into a leg submission here. And as you can tell, there's no way he's going to get a rope break. But this is how you learn the game. You do the basics like this. Pro wrestling. Great ring positioning there because he's between me and the ropes. So I'm never going to get a rope break. Send him off. Maybe he's looking for a tilt the world backbreaker there. Might have been too early. And as you can see, he's wanting to go for a lot of flying submissions. Trying to go Toby Khan Judon like Shinya Aoki. Shot him off again to the corner. Let's see if we can get a pin. Oh, nice. Chaos Theory. I do apologize because that should not have been a pin that I went for that early. And that was very sloppy of me. Single leg. And can we get a rope break? I might be out by then. Okay. Into a regal stretch. 
You try to chain things together. You try to look for opportunities. We're back at center ring here. This would be a good place for a snap suplex if I could get it and maybe get a pin. Here comes the knee. Hook a leg. No. Nope. It's going to hook a leg, go for a pin there and see what I could get. Still can't get that snap suplex off with the X. It means we'll go back to smaller things. Side and X, and that one worked. Go here, Fuji War. No. Nope. Takes this man down. I'll somersault through here. Jackknife into a pin. I'm already holding up because when he kicks out, I want to be able to roll up. Sliding German, and I'm going to roll right back in, and I'm going to armbar him. He's starting to expose that arm a little bit. I'm going to work it. Sent to the far side. Let's see if I can arm drag him off the top here. And then I'll take this right back into the arm bar. Starting to make sense now. Oh, okay. Now that we've softened him a little bit, we're going to go back to those middle moves. We're going to go back and see if I can snap suplex him. Nice rolling knee bar. And here we go. And I'll get a pin off this. Maybe not a three count, but let's see. Always hook the leg. Center ring, no rope break. Couldn't get it. But now he's starting to get worn down. Let me send him back into the corner again. Never be afraid to pull the man back out. Single leg. I picked Kyle O'Reilly because he's such a great wrestler. He's one of the best wrestlers overall on the entire planet. He will get a rope break here. But that's okay because I knew it was going to be quick anyway. And actually, I could somersault through. I could continue working this leg if I wanted to. Pull him back a little bit. Once again. But that's not what I'm looking for. And we start working the arm. See him holding that arm? Knees. I don't know if we'll get a second one. We do. Backslide. Always take an opportunity to capitalize on their mistakes. It's one of my flashier moves. The rocker dropper, the fame asser. Now this is looking good. Now we can get a little spicy. And he's going to do exactly what I would do. He's going to try to slow it down, but he doesn't know there's a blue thunder driver on the way. And actually, I thought I knew I was wrong. I'll get a road break here. No, maybe he didn't have it long enough. People are like, we want to see the blue thunder driver. Listen, if I can get it, I'll give it to you. No promises. And I walk forward towards him. That's going to be, yeah, that's a rope break. I'm always fighting back towards center. Leg trap here. There's a German. Maybe able to get a sunset flip here. Couldn't get it. Let's see if we can get a German. Boom. Nice bridge. And again, we stay on the arm all day. Maybe we'll go up top. Somersault senton down across the arm. Yes. And I'm going to give you that sunset flip now that we talked about earlier. No, I'm not. Because he's tough. I still can't even give you the blue thunder driver. Let me drop a knee again. Take him over. Wow. Okay. And sometimes there's stuff that you're going to want to do in a match, and it's just not going to come off. That's fine. We're not going to see the Fisherman Suplex most likely here tonight. Because I've been working the arm. Happy with it. Looks like he's working the arm, too. We got a little battle of who's going to tap here. And we just keep going back to it. There's no shame in that. I might actually be able to make him tap here, but because you guys are here, I want to keep playing. Let's 
A lot of the time they'll hit something like that in the corner. You see me holding X to stay down. Which was actually wrong because I should have been trying to get to the rope. A lot of the time they'll hit you in the corner. You'll stumble out, they'll grab you, and you still have another opportunity there to do something to him. And if he wants to exchange strikes here, I'm happy to do it. Sometimes you get a little fancy there. Rolling back to center. What have I told you over and over in this? Get those grape finds in. Guillotine choke. Wow. Okay. He's fighting me for it, you know? You gotta give him credit. I hit that fisherman just to soften him up. Hit that again. See if we can hit that sunset flip. There it is. But we don't want a sunset flip. What are we looking for? Looking for that Juji Gatami. That's what he got. We're looking for the Fujiwara. So now let's see if I can just take him down quick. No. He's fighting. If I can take him down quick and hook him, like here, I might have him. And again, this is Kyle O'Reilly. Nope, got him. And that is how you play Fire Pro Wrestling, boys and girls. Very simple. Some pure pro wrestling. In any case, I'm going to come back. I'm going to play this on harder difficulties. And hopefully you will join me. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. I'd like to hear in the comment section. Do you play this game or do you just sim this game? And I will catch you later. And there's a series of backhand knife edge chops. As always, your man in the booth, the best damn pro wrestling announcer going arachnid soul. Dragon screw leg whip that time from Jay Lethal. Coming to you live here tonight with Ring of Honor as we see the ST Joe. Joe shoots the half, lateral press.